Hey guys, how's it going? Um, just finished my workout. I don't know why I always feel like I have to wipe my teeth off, but do your teeth sweat when you work out? That's probably a really ridiculous question. Anyway, I just did Turbo Fire. 514. Um, actually, the Turbo Fire workout I did was uh, the 45, 45EZ. I don't know what EZ stands for. When I first got the uh, DVD set, I was like, oh, these must be really easy workouts. And then I didn't do them for a while, and then I popped one in, and I was like, wow, these ones feel harder than the other ones. So I don't know what her codes are, but um, all that said, the 45-minute Turbo Fire actually was, when I finished it, was 400 calories. Hold on, I'm shutting this off. Uh, it was 400 calories, and then, like I told you, I just want my morning workouts to be 500, so came in here, turned my music on, and jumped around like a mad fool which is the truth. And, oh crap, I just got a hair in my oatmeal. It's disgusting. Um, overnight oats. One of the few things I can still eat right now. I'm going back to the dentist today. Um, and for those of you that are asking, I'm probably a glutton for punishment, but the whole um, theory is that they're going to, I start traveling again in June. Um, I have trips almost every week in June. And then uh, July, a couple trips, August, a couple trips. So we're trying to get all the work done, the restorative work, before I go, which is <gasps> cavities filled, um, some crowns put in on the, on the root canals and so on and so forth. So I don't know what they're doing today. Um, I probably don't even want to look. Uh, I'm not quite understanding this text. Hold on. Sorry. I shouldn't be doing that. Anyway, I uh, came in here to shoot this video because something struck me as I was doing my turbo fire workouts and um, I shot a vlog yesterday and the scale was down, which was exciting. Because if you saw my videos last week, you know that the scale went up in anticipation of our friend on flow arriving. And I think it was about three or four pounds. Um, so today it's still down uh, at 139.2, so I'm happy about that. Um, but here's the thing, people. I was doing my turbo fire workout, and I thought about all the times that, you know, a lot of you guys are writing to me going, you know, asking me what I'm doing, and I'm totally cool sharing that. And yet at the same time, I wrote a blog post about this day before yesterday, which is, you know, you really have to look at your own body like an experiment because we're all so different. And I say that partially because that, that's like 50% of it, is that you really have to kind of test things out and see what works best for you with diet and exercise. And then the other thing is, the big thing, this was kind of my theme for this video, was you just have to ignore, number one, all of the um, unsolicited advice you'll get and the myths, myths that are out there about fitness. And I say myths just because these are people's opinions, and I've been around long enough and been pursuing um, fitness, if you will, um, for a lot, several, several years. And I've been around myriad experts, and I think that they're all right to some degree. They, they all are, are right. The thing is that you have to understand is there's no, I've always said this, and I, it took me a while to learn it, because I used to obsess on like finding the one thing, the perfect one diet that was right, as if only one diet was right and one diet would work and only one workout program was right. Because I would start down these paths the past couple of years and I would either start training with Jenny Lynn or I would start um, intermittent fasting or I'd start this or that and I'd get you know a week into it or three days into it and I'd start sharing it on my blog and on my videos and somebody would write to me and tell me how wrong what I was doing was. Um, I didn't ask them to do this but there's always a ton of people and on one hand I give these people credit. It's hard when you get passionate about you know, results and you feel better and you look better, you, you want to share that with other people, but you kind of have to step back and go, okay, if they ask me, I'm happy to share what worked for me. But I think that those people should also disclose, hey, this is what worked for me. It might not work for you. 
And so I brought out my little um, box here of the DVDs that I use the most. And I'm just going to use it to reference some of the things that I have been told over the past couple of years. And this is by men, by women, by trainers, by not trainers, by doctors, by nutritionists, by whatever. And it, they all conflict with each other. So as you can see, not only are there uh, hundreds of different opinions and takes on things and new studies, and you can find a study or facts to prove or, or to support any theory that you want. You can have a paleo fanatic over here who does CrossFit who will tell you up and down that you are absolutely insane if you're a vegetarian and you're crazy if you drink dairy and um, certainly if you have anything fake, you know, in a box ever. And if you um, do any kind of cardio, you're crazy. Why would you ever run, you know? And then you have runners who, um, you know, they run a, a marathon like most of us put on our socks. And they're obsessed with running marathons. And, you know, they'll tell you that, you know, you've got to run. Running's the best thing. Running, these, so let me just start to say this. These are all of the things that I've heard from people, okay? And I was always, and this is why I would, I'd lean this way one day and then I'd lean the other way because I'm like, well, I don't understand which one's right. I would have people tell me that running is the best way to lean out. Running is, is great, it's the best cardio, it's the best way to lose fat. And then you'd have, you have tons of women that'll tell you this. Uh, nothing got my legs lean until I ran, blah, 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 blah. Then I've got people that'll tell me that said, it wasn't until I started running that my legs bulked up and I started to get really, because you use your muscles so much, and then I got really bulky legs. And so I stopped running and I did Pilates and that's how I leaned out. So you can have people that'll say that about running. Then, you know, again, the, the whole CrossFit or circuit training versus isolation training. When I was training with Jenny Lynn a couple of years ago, I can't tell you how many people wrote to me and said, that's so old school. You don't need to train like that anymore. Blah, 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 blah. That's ridiculous. You'll never get anywhere. Guess what? I enjoy that kind of training, okay? And there's just as many people that can argue against CrossFit or against circuit training or against isolation training as there are people that'll argue against running. I had, oh, I don't have it here. It's in my other room. Once I started Insanity a couple of years ago, I met with some guy and he's, you know, he's real uber fit. He works out like four times a day. I'm not even joking. He works out a lot. And I told him what I was doing. Of course, this was in the midst of the past two or three years when I was trying to lose weight. And he's like, oh, you will never lose weight. That's way too high intensity. So I had people tell me that HIIT workouts, um, high intensity workouts, they're too high intensity. You can't do it. You, you'll, you'll never lose weight. Then you have people that say um, any kind of steady state cardio, for example, anything that would be like this, the kickboxing DVDs that I love, where it's kind of like your heart rate's like, for me, my heart rate tends to be about, I'd say 145 to 155 the whole time I do this. They go, well, that's not doing anything for you. It's not, it's not high intensity. It's not interval training. And, you know, kickboxing, well, that's not, you know, hot and new. And so I'd have people tell me that this is crazy. Does this chick, I mean, I don't know if you can see her. You need to Google her. Ilaria Montagnani. Okay, just Google her and tell me if you think she's not got an absolutely outrageous physique. Okay. Corey, my um, hot yoga, well, he's one of the, um, he owns the studio. Corey is uh, a former bodybuilder. Now he is vegan, uh, doesn't drink, doesn't do drugs, obviously, or anything like that. And he is, he teaches yoga, but he still trains with weights. And he's vegan and he's, he's competing in a bodybuilding show. He was bodybuilding, but he's got one of the most um, ripped physique you'd ever, you'd ever know. Most guys would look at that and go, oh, you know, he, there's no, and if they found out he did yoga, they'd be like, no way you can get jacked like that with yoga. Yes, you can. And guess what? He does like jujitsu and all this other stuff. Um, I've had people tell me, um, obviously, you know, I'm, what I'm loving right now are my turbo fire and my Les Mills, I guarantee you a ton of people would say, oh, that's too much high intensity or it's not, it's not high intensity enough. You're not varying your cardio enough. You know, um, I don't think I've had anybody tell me that my legs would bulk up. Bulking up is, is, is a funny thing that there's just a lot of baloney out there. I almost swore, but I'm trying to keep it clean. There's a lot of baloney out there to scare women. Oh, what if I lift weights and I get too big? You know, the number one thing that people ask me lately is, you know, about my arms. Why do so many women want, they appreciate the look <laughs> of muscle, and yet they're like, oh, I'm scared I'm going to bulk up. Guess what, people? I used to be able to wear um, 
you know, Ann Taylor like size small cardigans. And a lot of things that I buy now, I put them on and they're skin tight on my arms. Does it look like I'm upset about that? Would somebody maybe call me bulky? Go nutty, I like the way I look. Why, if you're a woman, why would you be so, do you know how much weight you have to lift and how much food and supplementation you have to do to really get big? I mean like bodybuilder big. I mean, even the women that compete in figure, they, if you see them in person, they are cut and they don't look like that year round. But you know, you don't see them and go, whoa, she's gonna kick my ass. They're just defined and conditioned. I just, I, I, so many women, you know, will will remark on other women or they, they've said stuff to me and I'm very flattered, but I, it's like, you're not gonna get there by not lifting weights and, and just running. Don't be scared of the weights and stop worrying. Am I going to get bulky? And then people go, I mean, I've heard, these are all the things that I've heard will make your legs bulky. Plyometrics, running, um, I think maybe kickboxing to some degree, um, lifting heavy weights, all of, and, and I do all of those things and my legs have lost, I have to go look at the measurements again. My legs right now are leaner than they've been probably in my whole life and I'm doing all of those things. But I'm not saying that might not work or work for you. You have to figure it out. If you like to run and you go run and you figure, um, you know, that your legs get really, oh, biking. I also heard that about biking. Don't go biking, your legs will bulk up. You know what, how about you just try it yourself? The worst thing is, is if you're moving and you're eating better, you're gonna feel better and you're gonna look better. And I highly doubt, and it's usually women that are worried about this. You don't hear a man going, oh, I'm just so worried if I do that, that my ass will get too big. I mean, just work out. It's just find something that you like, figure out how it affects your body and go with it. And, and again, with diet, you know, what works for me might not work for you. I tend to, to do very well with, um, I can tolerate more fat in my diet. And I certainly tend to do better when I'm limiting, you know, carbs, anything that's fake or bread or, or anything like that. A lot of people are the same way. But there's other people, like the guy I met, a friend of mine at the gym, and he's like, I do great with more carbs, less protein, and now, and he's a guy. And, you know, he's like, I lift lighter weights, higher reps. Find out what works for you. Don't listen to people. I can look at every single workout that I love and tell you something that someone's told me about, oh, you shouldn't do that. Oh, you shouldn't do boxing. Oh, you shouldn't do this. And guess what? I'm doing what I love now and I'm making better progress and I feel better and I'm enjoying it. So ignore everybody else. Don't pay attention to myths um, because you can, find some, you can find information to support anything. Understand that and understand that there are hundreds of experts out there and they, they all disagree with each other, okay? I can find so many articles to disagree with each other. Get that in your head, find out what works for you, realize that you're gonna have to experiment for a while and just kind of commit to enjoying the journey. You know what I'm saying? That's all I gotta say today. I gotta go to the dentist.